This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Doing up here in the attic. Comedy, there's nothing to watch. <laughs> Come, Nitch. Everything's 3D Hollywood today. I remember back when I was, I was your age, you used to get our old TV set, no satellite hookups or anything, just took our signals out of the air. But wasn't that dangerous? Well, that was, of course, uh, before the uh, Surgeon General found a link between uh, TV signals and cancer. That was before your time. Remember some old 2D shows, though? Uh, some were even in black and white. Wow! Of course, that was uh, before President Turner put that enforced colorization law through in the 20s. Our show's been really boring. They weren't even interactive. Uh, don't be so sure about that. There were some great shows back then. Oh, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Mm. Ooh, what? what's that? Oh, it's called a VCR. <laughs> Uh, see, back before all the video was put directly into computer memory in the comnet, people used to tape shows. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, there's, there's a tape already in here. Let me let me hook this up here. Let me see what we got. Uh, oh, ooh, oh, damn radiation! <laughs> Come back with us to the '60s and '70s, the dwelling place of the lost generation. An era whose heroes, role models, and very lives were molded informed by weekly installments of favorite television programs. Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley, and we're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. <laughs> but before we get into the big extravaganza tonight, I just want to tell you we're on Tuesdays at 6, Wednesdays at 10, and Thursdays at 3 p.m. here on ACTV Cable 21. Also, if you want to write into us, and boy, the mailbag has just been bursting full, uh, <laughs> box, it's uh, box 15, 14, 11. Columbus, Ohio, 43215. Well, tonight on Vast Wasteland, uh, we a uh, topic that may last the whole show and then again may not. We're going to talk about Filmation. Yeah, everyone remember, remembers the old Filmation show. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Filmation, the production company. Uh, Lent Perry's uh, younger brother. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we say that last time? Yeah. Probably. People right. really laughed at it then, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's the only one we've got. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make it last. So anyways, uh, Filmation, the uh, the production company, kind of like the, the poor man's Hanna-Barbera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're kinda, kinda looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guys that kind of brought, the, for, as, far, as far as I remember, these were like the first guys that started the concept of pastel color as background. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I can't even remember, it's like, um, let's draw one picture if it's really, really, really good. We'll use it over <laughs> and over yes. and over. Like we saw, did they use computers? Oh, later I'm sure they do when now. They did the, uh, well, later on when Thundar yep. came along, it was a lot of, we drew one picture, it was really good, good. we set it to a computer, computer, and anytime we need him running, we push a oh. button. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. 
that because you saw him in the same position. Right. <laughs> this is a, right. We did a good picture. <laughs> it was really, really good. We're proud <laughs> of this one. Out of this look, yeah. look, Mom, a picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's see. Let's uh, let's uh, start off. Uh, some early let's see what, where did filmation start i don't even know <laughs> well i somebody um <laughs> somebody got somebody a, somebody got a pencil and drew a picture let's start really, a company really called filmation. <laughs> either either they got kicked out of someplace else <laughs> or they they just decided to be innovative and do it themselves and say we can do that too and by golly then you had Looks your like filmation we can do that too. <laughs> yeah, of course we never were any place to get kicked out of, so <laughs> except maybe school or something. <laughs> well, <No. laughs> well, we didn't. Ha! We went. <laughs> <laughs> we graduated mostly. <laughs> That's right. Well, certainly the major thing that Filmation is known for has to be the Archies. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah, true. But Archie. let, let me let, let me let me run before that a little bit okay. because they did have a. Um, had a they had a Zorro cartoon, but it might I I'm almost sure it was before the Archie thing. It might not have been. It they might not have been. Zorro. But there was a Zorro. There there was a Three Musketeers. There was a Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger. Now, the Lone Ranger one was neat because I remember it was Three Musketeers, but I remember it being a um, a uh, what's their names? Uh, shoot, Sid and Marty Croft kind of thing. It was on banana splits and stuff. Yeah. Well, it wasn't the bears. It, no, well, no, no. I mean, you mean I'm, you're I remember three Musk. There was a Three Musketeers cartoon. It was okay. all like rotoscoped. Yeah, <laughs> that was that's kind of the big thing that I remember about filmation. That, yeah, that's filmation. The, I, well, I had no idea that was filmation. I, I think that I'm was, pretty sure it is. Okay. I but hey, my sources didn't come through. Nobody had this yeah. great book that was supposed to be out in March. <laughs> this book was supposed to be out in March. And, and he works at a library. So and and every, I, I, I called people, I called places. You heard of this book? No. <laughs> we have no reference of this book. Maybe. No record of it at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what was that book again? <laughs> Film, filmation? <laughs> Who was <it>? brother? <laughs> <laughs> you have an author for that? <laughs> If you, give us, if you give us an author or maybe a, 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 a publisher, we can help you, but just a title? Oh, I'm sorry, we're lost. I don't really remember the Three Musketeer thing. Uh, I'm, of course, I'm, I watch Banana Splits for the music. <laughs> well, see, that's, that's the, the Three Musketeers card. That's where I got the, the hold of who the, each of the characters were. Okay. Mm -hmm. Poor So, Say So, Ceramus, and D'Artagnan kind of thing. But now those are cheese. Hey. Bubblegum music for everybody under nine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> once you hit ten, you can recognize real people, I guess. Yeah. And things that I remember about the Archies, really, one thing that always stood out in my mind is, is Reggie's laugh. Ho, ho! Ho, ho! Ha, ha! I think that went on to become the Joker's laugh when um, they did the, the Batman Bad thing there Batman. later. Um, the it, voice the voice was Dallas McKinnon, who also did the voice for Archie. So <laughs> well, there we are. First only, guy. only actually only let's see five people listed here and only three actual actors because Jane Webb, who is seen all through all the filmation stuff, played both Betty and Veronica. So <laughs> Dallas is people. Oh yeah, and, and just that Veronica had that southern accent. <laughs> Archie can <laughs> do this or that or that. <laughs> there you go. And but who was in the band? Who was the band? That's who the big was question. The band? <laughs> who was the band? Who was the Archie? Biggest mystery. Biggest mystery. Because this was kind of of my childhood. Who was the band? Well, Archie played guitar, right? I seem to no, remember. Who's who's the? Oh, who's the real? Who yeah. Was the band? Who was the voice? The um. They've never come out and said it. it's like a big. It's a big secret in um. Some some studio. In record. Probably some um, studio musicians that. <laughs> it's like you never know. Got any money we'll probably from find it. out <laughs> later it was like old Fleetwood Mac <laughs> or <laughs> Night Ranger or somebody. You know. Sugar, sugar. Because you had like hits. Yeah. Right. Like you could go to the roller rink and request them to play Bang Shang a Lang so you could skate around the rink to your yeah. <laughs> favorite song. <laughs> bang, bang, shang a Bang, bang, shang-a-lang. No. Bang, 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 shang a lang, -lang. <laughs> <laughs> At the end. <laughs> and sugar? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, and there was, was also a thing about um, when they were singing, too, um, 
Archie and, and Reggie's heads would do a lot of this. Yeah. <laughs> come into each other and yeah. go back out. Well, I had the same. So some early, early music videos. Keeping that really. beat. <laughs> uh, you can see the, you Some of them aren't much better now. Right. <laughs> got, you can see the, you know, like, <laughs> the Madonna influence, you know. <laughs> uh, she was influenced by the Archies. <laughs> some of those early music videos, you know, the really low shot of <laughs> Archie, and, Archie and Jughead. Did Jughead, did Jughead play Jughead the drums? Jughead played the drums. There you go. Yeah. So it was, um, let me see. Archie's and here, Betty's here, Veronica too, Reggie's here. Hey, Jughead, where are you? And you Betty, the Archies. Betty and Veronica both played. We uh, ate the Archies without the Jughead right? beat. Well, no, no. One, no. one of them was on a the keyboard. Oh, yeah. okay, there you go. Betty <laughs> usually played the keyboards, I believe, because who could ask Veronica to work, you know? Oh, that's, that's true. right. So Veronica just played she tambourine. Banged it on her hip. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't the Archies without the Jughead beat. Yeah. A move that was highly copied by Josie and the Pussycat. Oh, <laughs> well, that's true because they well they just sprang right up after them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Josie and the Pussycat, copycat band. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? And then of course they went and expanded the Archies and entered. Whose cousin was Sabrina? Nobody. Nobody's cousin. I she just kind of moved she in. She was related. just the the teenage witch that just moved in. And I, I always like the thing, too, when they're doing the music, you got the big musical notes in the background. <laughs> and here's, 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 here's hot hey. dog dancing around. Later, copied on one by foot. Pebbles and Bam Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. hey. Wow. All these copycat bands. You know, I'll bet that was probably the same band. Cover band. <laughs> I, Pebble, I think maybe Pebbles and Bam Bam were a cover band for the Archies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> they were, they were, they were the, after the Archies. <laughs> well, they were like the... Uh, the backup. They were the foundation group or something. They never had any hits. <laughs> well, that's true. They never had any hits. The Archies, I can remember real clear, and post cereal brought that music. Oh to yeah, you. on Cut the back the of the back, cereal. Yeah. Tape a quarter to the record so it'll stay down on uh -huh. the record player. Tape a half dollar to your phonograph needle so you can wear it out <laughs> and play the record. <laughs> I actually had one. <laughs> well, I just remember those two real well. Okay, um, Sugar Sugar, Bang Shang a Lang, um, who knows? <laughs> I know I didn't have either one of those on the back of my zero. It was always some, it was like the flip side of something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what you got on the back. What, what, it was it, always what did you end up with? One yeah. of, one one of the old um, yeah. the the Jackson 5 yeah. ones that they had left over. <laughs> I want to find out who that band was, though. I think yeah, I think it's just someone who's ultra mega rich. You know, somebody will come forward probably. some probably. years from no, now. No, no, they'll hide. It'll, it'll be like old David Lee Roth yeah. and, <laughs> and, and Madonna. <laughs> no, she was all right. Been too well, young. she still could have. That darn Diamond Pamela Ferdinand's been on there ever since. Diamond Dave, though. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Ross as Archie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna make your life so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Sabrina. <laughs> that was Sabrina, of course, oh. had another band, <laughs> which was really one of my favorites. Oh, the Groovy Ghoulies. <laughs> hey, now they had. Not only did they have a have a have a group, but they had a song that was actually on the radio. That um, that um, Which you one? know, it's uh, well, it was actually done on the radio by Daddy Dewdrop, but um, now I can't even think of the name of the song. <laughs> well, this is really going because <laughs> the song has nothing to do with the title. I mean, but the, the <laughs> title has nothing really to do with the song, and it's it's really. Oh, that's um, uncommon. <laughs> well, not anymore, but back then it was like. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, let's go to see. They had Super Ghoul, which I really liked. Do you remember Frankie and his Super Ghoul? Of course, let's see. There was Frankie, the Frankenstein guy, the Weirdo Wolfie, the Wolfie Man guy, and Drac. That was pretty it was much like it. like the vampire guy. <laughs> there was a mummy in there, too, somewhere. A mummy guy. Just your basic monster creature guy. But I remember the Super Ghoul song real well. Also, ah, the song was Chickaboom. Chickaboom, okay. <laughs> and a Weirdo Wolfie song. I remember those. Frightening Frankie, Dangerous, Dangerous Dragon. Dragon. Weirdo Wolfie. <laughs> they said it in a real funny, Weirdo Wolfie. Well, maybe it was the guy doing Jughead's voice. Could have been, bro. <laughs> the guy's doing hot dogs. Uh, hot dogs didn't talk. Exactly. 
<laughs> Hot Dog's like one of the very few dogs. In cartoons that doesn't that talk. does not speak. It had no Later had no on, voice I think all. maybe they had, you could like, hear, hear him. him think. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember well, that. In yeah. the Archie Funnies, you know, they'd had the thing where the big balloon, mm -hmm. the big, the bubble would come over they his head Archie and you would hear him funnies, think. And they had, on that was cartoon they took out of the newspaper. Yep. Yeah, because that's Broom where Hilda, Dick, Dick Tracy made his Dick Tracy. come back there. Dick Tracy, Captain and the Kids, Moon Mullins, Smokey Stover, Nancy and Sluggo, Here Come the Dropouts, Broomhilda, and Emmy Lou, mm -hmm. which are presented as the programs of a television station operated by the Archie Gang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a novel idea. They do. Of course, <laughs> they've never grown any older, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> Either that or their perpetual dropouts in high school. I don't know. They just they, they just have to keep repeating. I always often wondered. Now there's a question that I have often wondered. How old were Mr. Weatherby and Miss Grundy? Ancient. Yeah. How old were these people? Oh yeah. Ancient. Coach Cleats and yeah. who else? They had the little little janitor guy. Was there a little janitor guy? Or am I thinking of the, the Jetsons? <laughs> No, I, I like there was right. a janitor yeah, guy like a, that looked like Henry. Hey. Mr. <laughs> was it? Well, there was a well, there was Mr. Lodge, and then there was the uh, then there was the guy that looked exactly like Mr. Lodge, if I remember correctly, except he had like a big fuzzy mustache, and he was the janitor. Okay. <laughs> and pops, pops, pops owned the, yeah, the yeah. sweet shop. Well, they had to have some place to go after school. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah. If I go home, why get a job after right. school? Got yeah. a pop. Yeah. yeah. So There's we can play our instruments. Right. Well, the There's house moose, band and pops. moose and moose and Midge and mm -hmm. Big Ethel. <laughs> He's always after Jughead. Well, they look so much alike, which is why Jughead mm -hmm. wanted nothing in the world to do with her. Yeah. <laughs> and I have that Mick Jagger, <laughs> Bianca Jagger complex. <laughs> no, nah, because Jughead, he's, he's not exactly your your prize person, and and Big Ethel oh, looked just Jughead's like him. Jughead's hot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Jughead and that Pinocchio nose. <laughs> Tell Big Echo just Tell looked truth, just Taylor. looked just like him though. That's the thing, and she had them teeth. That's the thing. She had those teeth, those, those Big th Ethel teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Junk hair. <laughs> you know, chasing after him, he died. Run. Well, let's see. There's those uh, teeth. <laughs> he brought on another dog too. Chili dog. Yeah. Those hot dog and chili dog. Who <laughs> had these characters? <laughs> well, that's the thing. This, this show, after, this show went was on for a season. Yeah. And this show went through so many different. They just kept going. Well, we'll just. Pull these things out again, you know. <laughs> the same cartoons, put a new title on it, which is, of course, what the Flintstones were also doing, you know. Thank yeah. God we've never had a baby Archie. Oh, yeah, we did. I think we, we did. did? Uh, we had a baby I, am, I am next to certain that we had a, a new Archie's. Well, there's. It was like, it was like little kid Archie. It wasn't babies, well, but. Well, there it was, is a, there's a comic book. Yeah, a little of Archie. Little Archie's, but I don't ever remember seeing uh, it. I seem to remember it. I'm Maybe. not exactly sure. I think I had quit watching really by then. Yeah. <laughs> That was like mid-80s. Okay. I don't Somewhere out that. there. And they said, oh, Muppet Babies are working. Let's baby well, everything. Well, babied everything yeah. at that point. <laughs> it's I the mean, baby geez. Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> they had them. Oh, yeah, of course they did. They had a baby they, Smurf. And, they had, and get this, they had the storks bring them. Yeah, of course. Because we don't know where the heck Smurfs come from. We know Smurfette was created by Gargamel. Right. Because there were no female Smurfs. So how come there's so many damn Smurfs and there ain't no girls? Where do these Smurfs come from? And when the stork brings a baby, he brings a boy one and a girl one. Smurf berries. God, no wonder. No wonder. Them no, damn no, Smurf berries. No wonder we have so much problem with teenage birth control. Because oh, you, wow. see, you see Smurfette's the only woman. You know, she's got to be... She was a tease. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that, that's another company. <laughs> that jokey Smurf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, what other? Why are we talking Smurfs anyway? Yeah, they're they're, they're talking Archie's. Kind of that's that's, that's yeah, another yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, darn Smurfs. No, Smurf it. That <laughs> darn <laughs> Pamela Ferdin. <laughs> well, what other wonderful well, gift did Filmation give us? Well, we had the... Uh, the 26 episodes of Fantastic Voyage. Which was okay. a really neat, the yeah. CMDF, I, I like that show. Voices, anybody famous? Story of Jonathan Kidd, <gasps> Erica Stone, Cosby Birdwell, and the Guru, four people through, yeah I know, through ah! the Combined Miniature Defense Force, a secret U.S. government organization to reduce to microscopic size. Which, if you've ever seen Fantastic Voyage, the movie, you know that. Episodes and they had the their coolest exploits, ship, man. Exploits as they battle the unseen, unsuspecting enemies of the free world, criminal, and germinal matter. And, of course, two different parts, both Jonathan Kidd and Cosby Birdwell, played by 
Ted Knight. <laughs> and the omnipresent oh, Jane Webb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So many, many people are. And Marvin Miller, who I'd never heard of before. I don't know. Sounds familiar. familiar. The guru, the master of mysterious powers. I don't remember him. I don't remember that character in the movie. Well, he was. He was. Well, no, they didn't have him in the movie. In the movie, who'd you have? You had your Raquel Welch, your Stephen right. Boyd, yeah. your. Uh, but see, you could add more characters in your, animation. Uh, you don't have to pay him as much. Whoever the right. other doctor is that, <laughs> that Raquel Welch remember? is helping, and then you've got your uh, your bald headed Donald Pleasance evil right. character. So well, let's see. That that. Didn't but uh, in the thing of uh, the the like the captain had a had a patch on. There was like a young kid that wore glasses. There, there was a, a female, blonde female, and then the, the guru guy who has had a turban. He's like the Haji character, except he's grown oh, like, up. Okay. And he, he's the master of Let's mystic see, powers. What else you got? <laughs> it was great. He wore a Nehru jacket too, a Nehru jacket mm. and a hey, like a red scarf. Hey, yeah, hey, cool. <laughs> well, Nehru jackets are a cool thing. Well, they're hip. See. They're happening. They're together. Yeah, you're trying to bring them back. They're the boss. in public. <laughs> Oh, well, it kind of doesn't what fit anymore. What else we got? Well, let's see. We've got the big one, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. Oh, that's Chris Rock's <laughs> favorite cartoon, you know? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> it's Fat Albert! Let's slam him on flat, fat people and black people. Let's offend two people and one character. <laughs> These poor, poor kids lay in the junkyard all the time, have absolutely everything in the world in that junkyard. Why did they go home? I don't know. No, no idea. I remember it seems they wound up having a TV and everything in the junkyard, in the oh, clubhouse. Yeah. Why go home? Because <laughs> later in the series, they had they watched some other cartoon. Brown Hornet. They watched the Brown, Brown Hornet. Brown Hornet. Hey, who did the voices in that cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Fat Albert, Bill Cosby, Mushmouth, Bill Cosby, Dummy. Dum Donald, Bill Cosby, Weird Harold, Bill Cosby, and Bill Cosby as himself. <laughs> well, yes, but somebody else would do Bill Cosby's voice. Got all these voices in there. <laughs> did he uh, even do his little brother? Oh yeah. Little Bill. Oh, I'm sure he did. Or not? No, Russell. Russell. No, well, it says brother. there says there are other. Hey, they actually Keith had Allen, movies. Pepe Brown, Erica Carroll, Jan Crawford, Gerard Edwards, and Lane Vu. <laughs> they knew, uh, Nobody we ever heard of. Nobody we right ever heard of. That, but we Nobody heard will ever hear of again. Nobody watched the cartoon. Oh, that went on forever. <laughs> oh, that was one of those first cartoons I remember that you have to learn something. There's a you moral may learn to something this story. before it's done. There's a moral <laughs> to this well, get story. Get ready, okay? <laughs> 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 You'll be a better person yeah. for watching this cartoon. That's right. Don't watch that other cartoon. Where, where you can just it have was, fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was, we want this cartoon where, you know, it's like we're going to present a little, a little uh, morality play. Wasn't kinda. he doing this show for like his doctorate project thing or something? Quite possibly. Yeah, I Wasn't think so. Wasn't it something connected with him getting oh, I'm, oh, I'm sure it was. <laughs> Bill would Let's never do anything. Let's yeah. educate kids. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, maybe like Sesame Street and the Electric Company. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Except he had already created this, 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 this uh, basically took his nightclub act. <laughs> basically, yeah. Yeah. took his nightclub act and turned into a Saturday morning cartoon. The stories cartoon. he used to tell in his, in his, on the tapes and stuff of the Fat Albert yep. walking across. The first one I remember of Fat Albert was mm. the actual. They, they did that one about crossing the, the, the 50 Ninth Street Bridge. Street yeah. Bridge uh -huh. And that cartoon was good. Mm -hmm. And then when they came out with this show, it's like you mean I'm like gonna get preached at? <laughs> Yeah, it's like the characters in the in the first one were, they were like incohesive. They were just like watercolor characters, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it was real artwork. neat. And um, then they came up with this, and they were like, boom, there they are, boom, there it is, boom. Yeah. Well, the, mm -hmm. In the backgrounds, every, everything was just there, and it was it wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> Which was like the old filmation things were the the Robin Hood, not Robin, excuse me, the uh, Lone Ranger, the um, the Three Musketeers, the Zorro. They mm. just How about um, my favorite. So Tarzan. What created an entire language for. Oh, uh, Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan was a bit later because they had learned a few things, like um, we can base the way that we're drawing these characters on actual people, which is what I think they did with Tarzan. And then I think they fit it into a computer. Well, yeah, because they they, yeah, were, they were early they users. Always the they were, they were early <laughs> users of computers. Yeah. Really there were some things that Tarzan would do, like cheap. he would <laughs> he would land somewhere and then he'd take off <laughs> <Yeah>. running. <laughs> that he'd always look the same. The, the swing somersault catch the other one. I like Tarzan now. And when he would land, it was cool because I thought the the way they did that, the way they drew that, they could have easily, easily done easily? a Bruce Lee kind of cartoon. But they probably ran into a lot of 
problems in the that idea, but they could have Well, two things, two things we got to mention before we get out of here, because believe it or not, we're running close to the end of the half hour. Wow. Ooh. Amazing. First off is the Star Trek uh, animated series was done by Filmation. This is and true. And we've talked about that before. We just wanted to mention it. And, and, uh, but the one I really wanted to talk about was the big the uh, Superman, Aquaman Adventure Hour back in the 60s. Oh, that was Filmation? Yeah, it was Filmation. That was early Filmation. That's right, like, that Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I loved about this show was the uh, the first use of a, of a, 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 a guitar chord. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in a, a Saturday morning, you know, it was always, Lois and Jimmy are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry up and get there. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Maybe Clapton did? Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was Clapton. It was You're Clapton. right. <laughs> Slow hand, Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> And they would, they would, they, they did something that they would do on the, on the Batman, the, the live action thing too, where they would, where in the Batman they would flip around the bat. Right. And this one they would just have like a splash of different colors. And it would go vroom vroom like that. <laughs> and it would go <laughs> across there when you had the. Which of course they later did. <laughs> they later did these, these connective things when you look into the '80s filmation stuff like He Man. He Man, every scene is like this sword or whatever they're doing, and it's like. And it's on to the next scene. No need to no need to animate transitions. Let's just let's just slap this thing in here. Let's put in Castle Grayskull. Boom. Let's put in the sword. Let's put in the shield. You mean we can like blame that on filmation? Yeah, pretty well, much. We're all filmation. Yeah. Skeletor's helmet. All the same. A shoe. Yep. You had to learn something on He-Man. Yeah. Well, yeah. The reason yeah. that we did all this was just to show you that <laughs> See you, you next know, time. <laughs> there are aliens. There are aliens, although you may never in your world there are no aliens. But well, here we oh, well, <laughs> we, time we Yeah, we gotta get out of here. So next time it's medical shows. And next time <laughs> <laughs> Lois and Jimmy are in trouble. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> and back <Batman>. my <laughs> 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 We're just gonna sit here and do sounds. Yeah. <laughs>